In today's session of Divorce Court, Corinne Williams says she needs sex, but after her husband Charles had surgery, she's not getting any. Well, he couldn't perform in the bedroom. After and his surgery? After his surgery. So you wasn't getting anything? No. Wasn't getting anything. I had an erection that day, and on the way home, she stopped to the, uh, the supermarket, and, and, and I told her, I said, look, let's go on home. You said go on home, because it's not going to last that's, long, that's, huh? That's right, that's right, that's right. But now she says he played her for a fool. I started getting these phone calls from this woman. And what the woman explained to me on the phone is that they was together 18 months. When I love you, woman, and I tried to treat you You don't you right. know what love I is. Gave you, you gave me what? I mean, heartache? I work, I work heartache? For. I mean, my I money? Aggravation and lies? It seems like the surgery wasn't having too much of an impact on him. Maybe he just was tired of Miss Williams. Today, Corinne Williams comes face to face with Charles Williams, the man she says deceived her in divorce court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matter of Corinne Williams versus Charles Williams. And Mrs. Williams, I'm advised that after two years of marriage that you want a divorce. Why? Well, Your Honor, after six months of marriage, my husband walked out. Um, his problems, I do not understand. He walked out after six months? He walked out March 17th. We were married September 20th. 97, March 17th, 98, he walked out. He went to work that morning and just didn't come back. And disappeared? Disappeared. What's the disappearing act all about, Mr. Williams? Well, Judge, <clears throat> there was some things that was going on in my marriage that I really disapproved of. What could be going on in six months that you disapproved of? It seems you barely got married. For one thing, uh, Your Honor, uh, I felt as though that she was cheating on me. You felt as though she was cheating? Yes, I did. Did you have any evidence or any facts or just your feelings? Well, one day she came home, she had a hickey on her neck, and I mean, that, that you know, right there was in the stuff. You know, I didn't put it there. How you and, know it wasn't poison oak or poison well, ivy? Well, because it wasn't. I, I, I know, I know, I know what, that when I see it, Yana. Six and, months after you married her, she came home with a hickey no, on her neck? No, that wasn't six months after. Less than that? It was less than that. Sk Excuse Mrs. Me. Williams? Excuse me, Your Honor. If you can see my neck right now, I have several marks, and that's from a previous incident. That, me, these marks, if I rub my neck, my neck turns red. I have very sensitive skin. Well, my husband, when we were dating, was a totally different man. Okay, that was number one. When we first... Well, it mostly is. When you're dating, right. you mean he kept well, up an act for two years? Yes, he did. <laughs> it, was a, it was a perfect act. But then after the surgery, Charles changed. He changed to a point where we no longer talked to each other. I was the housewife, the housekeeper. I was to clean up, cook, and do his bidding. But his bidding... Do his bidding? His bidding, because that's his attitude towards a woman. You do his bidding. And Yana, if you don't... Yana, what is no, do no, his no, bidding? No, I mean, no, he's no, not no, turning no, out. No, do Yana. his bidding Let me explain means... that. Do his bidding means when he wants to have sex, you're supposed to have sex. Well, he couldn't perform in the bedroom. After and his surgery. After his surgery, because he did not want to listen to the doctor. The doctor told him in conference that once you have this surgery, things are not going to be like you once knew them. Well, he didn't want to hear Your that. Honor, that's not, that's, that's not true. Let, that, that Let her finish, not, Mr. Williams. True. Please, right. please. That is not true. I was there. After he had the surgery, and the doctor was telling him about the medications that he could use. He wouldn't listen to the doctor. He wouldn't listen to me, okay? So he didn't use the medicine he, he was supposed would to use? He would overdose on the medication. Oh. When the doctor told him 20 cc's, he yeah, would use yeah, 40 cc's, yeah. or he would use 60 cc's. That's not cc's true, because I could not do that. Hold on, Mr. Could, Williams. Excuse do that. me. So what you're saying to me is that, that that all affected his ability to perform sexually? Yes, period. No, so then no. Period. No. Period. So you wasn't getting anything? No. Wasn't getting anything. No. And yeah, then... Yeah, I, I like, hold I like, on, then... I like, I like, I like to say something. And I like then, to say something, Judge. Miss Williams, like give, give him a minute. I like to say something. Yeah. When, now, when the, the first time the doctor gave me this particular medicine... Curritin right, injections. I used it, and we were, supposed, we, were, we were supposed to go home and use that medicine just that same day, right? I had an erection that day, and I'm going to say it like it is. I had an erection that day. We had to leave from South Philadelphia to go all the way out to the Northeast. And on the way, on the way home, she stopped to the, to the, to, what, what, what was it, the supermarket. And, and, and I told her, I said, look, let's go on home. You said go on home because it's not going to last that's, long, that's, huh? that's right, that's right, that's right. She stopped but, in the supermarket, walked around, walked around, 
And by the time it came out, everything was gone. So she blew it. Yeah, no, well, uh, she blew it for me. That's and for, so and for blew, herself too, no, right? Right, well, he blew it for him. So Miss Mrs. Williams, it sound like your husband had a medical condition. Okay. And and things weren't working out like that's you thought. That's not the only thing. That is not the only thing. But let thing. me ask you about that. Okay. Even if he had a medical condition that caused after his surgery, it caused him not to be able to perform mm -hmm. as well as he did before. Wait, excuse Isn't me. Isn't that the worst me, part of your no, marriage? No, excuse me. You you're, you're not even getting it. He wasn't performing before we got married. That's what I was trying to say to you. So why before... were you there for two years then, Ms. Williams? I mean, he I He wasn't love... performing no, sex, I... but he was performing on giving you the money? No, what money? Well, you said he was very giving, and you giving could talk to him. Giving of his time. I didn't ever say he gave me no money. Now, you're wrong about that. I did oh, jump oh, to oh, the you conclusion. You jumped to the conclusion. No, 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 you did not have um, no money. You wait a minute, I didn't have the money. Hold you on. Didn't have no money. Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, that's my fault. Excuse I brought me. that up. She never said no, that. No, she just did, Your Honor. Excuse me. She just did. Now, you excuse said he was me. very go giving. Go he, excuse me. He was just a very giving person of In terms himself. of what? Let me and get it clarified. Of his self. His we time. We spent time together. We talked together. We got they together. They loved together. No, we wasn't doing... It wasn't about no bedroom. We wasn't... So then why are you so upset now that it's I'm not, not about the bedroom? No, no, I'm not... Up, don't... You're misunderstanding me. I'm not well, you upset. you better hurry up and clarify. I am and not upset about the bedroom. I've never been one to be happy or go lucky when it comes well, to the bedroom. Well, that's what you started this with. What, what I'm he saying... Perform. When he could not... When he could not... Okay? He couldn't get it in his head. He just couldn't. The more we tried to talk about it and we go to the doctor, he didn't want to do what the doctor told him. The more I tried to talk to him and tell him, he didn't want to listen. Charles, it, Okay, it's... Mrs. Williams, let me stop you there. Go ahead. If that's not the issue, the fact that he couldn't perform sexually, mm -hmm. and that's not what caused the breakdown of this marriage, then why are you telling me about it? Because I'm telling you, this is what he told me. This is why he left. Okay, because I wasn't doing my my, my womanly duties. No, okay, no. because you then, weren't performing. No, that's like what no. he said. No, that's no, what he said. So no, then, let no, me finish, Charles. No, let no. me finish, finish. please, finish Mr. This. Williams. So, Mr. Tell Williams, tell hold on. Like... Let her get to the point because I'm trying to figure out what she's saying. Okay, I started getting these phone calls from this woman. The woman kept calling me looking for Charles. Okay, oh, well, Charles. So Charles was skipping out on you. Thank you very much. And had another woman. Thank you very much. And what the woman explained to me on the phone is that they was together 18 months. How could you be with somebody 18 months and we just got married September 27th, 97? And not only did you just get married, you had lived together two years before okay. that. Okay, so where did the other woman now, come now, into now, play? Sound like you was living a double now, life. Now, Mr. Williams, can I finish? Now, Your Honor, I was living... No, let me control I, this I, a little I was, bit. I was living out in the Northeast for those two years or whatever, how Mr. Williams, did you have two? You were play, leading a double life? How could I? Easily, I done could. every day. No. Well, I, I helped her out in a particular way. How you help her out, Mr. Because, Williams, in what particular way? Well, the, the, she was a young lady. She, she had kids. She was 27 and years old, Your Honor. She, she was 30 years old. She was 27. That's what she told me. Well, she was 30. So you found a younger woman no, and you no, helped her no, out? No, ma'am. No, I did not. What I did, I saw a choice that she was able to feed her children, right? So, I mean, I, I gave her 15 and 20 dollars and, and let her, you know, because she had kids. How'd she get your phone number, Mr. Williams? I just stopped past the girl. I told her I needed a place to stay. Oh. And, I, and I asked her if I could rent, rent a room from her. Now, how you rent a room for her and you telling me that she's out there in the now, cold yeah, with she, no she, hat on her head but, but and she, she has but, two she, children? She had a, Does she own but, the but, apartment? But, 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 but she had an apartment. When Divorce Court returns, Corinne testifies about discovering Charles' secret life. She comes to the door. He tells her to get back. He opens the door, say, well, well, let me explain. You got a new family? Then your clothes are supposed to be where you at. And I gave him his clothes, put him in the middle of the street. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Corinne Williams, who says her husband Charles lied about not being able to perform sexually after she discovered he was cheating on her. So were you trying to play this woman? Did you tell no, her you were no, married I... and had a wife? Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. That ain't all and you so know. you said to her, I'm married and I have a wife, but um, I want to rent a room from you. Is that no, all right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say that. Guy. I, I, just, I, 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 just, I, I just told her I was having a hard time. Where's my wedding ring? You told her you was having a hard time. I was having a hard time. And I'm not being treated right by my no, wife. I didn't tell her nothing like that. Where's... 
Nothing so then like she it. took you in, just like you had given her money. This other woman took well, you I, in. I, I was only supposed to have been there, mind you, honey, and, until I got paid. I was so she played the Good Samaritan else. for you. Yeah, she tried to help me out. I got that apartment because the woman she getting ready to get kicked out of her. No, you That's didn't. I, no, you oh, didn't, because oh, I, I didn't. came there. You, yeah, you, and you, you when you opened the door, you told me, oh, I got a family. I got my children. I don't need you. you oh, didn't, and I, I didn't I, throw your stuff I in the middle of the street. That. I told you that. Yes, you did. And you I mean, and you her might, little girl was might, picking might, up your stuff. Stop. 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 Oh, stop. I'm out your mouth. You out your mind. So you're telling me that you went to the apartment and threw his stuff in the street? When the woman called me, she called me up at my house. You didn't think it was a setup, and you went over there? It don't matter to me, because I don't fear nobody. Oh. OK? Because you bad. No, I'm not bad, but I'm not fearing. ain't God, so I'm not going to fear you. All right. OK? Okay, so I goes there. Who opens the door? She comes to the door. He tells her to get back. He opens the door. Stay. Well, well, let me explain. L let me explain. I said, what is there to explain, Charles? First of all, you told me that you didn't live there. Well, I'm jumping again. When the woman called me, we're on the phone talking. She's telling me about my wedding ring. The second time is when he calls me. He goes, goes to work. He don't come home from work. He claims he's locked up in jail that he was locked up all night long and one of his friends bailed him out. That so was another night. So he was night. locked up in jail because he was in hell over there. That's what was right. going on. He was with his, he was with the same woman again. Yeah, yeah, the third yeah. time, the Hold third, on, Mr. Mr. The Williams. third time mm -hmm. it comes mm -hmm. up with this is his new family. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have a problem with his being mm -hmm. his new family. The issue at hand right now is this loan he took out mm -hmm. that he does not so pay his bills. So now he told you that he has a, whole, a new family altogether. Yeah. Now, what'd you say about throwing his clothes in the street? Well, I told him, you got a new family? Then your clothes supposed to be where you at. And I gave him his clothes, put him in the middle of the street, and got back in my car and went home. But his family wasn't in the street. He was in an apartment. Well, that's not my problem. So you put his clothes in the middle of the street? Put him in the street. That wasn't so nice. Yes, it was. I don't think so. Yes, it was. No, no. Well, I think it was angry. No, yes, I was angry well, because well, well, women you have been have calling me, harassing me. When I went no. to his job to talk to him, Standing on Broad and Chew, he stands up there telling me these fabricate. Oh, baby, I love you. So, Miss Williams. So, Miss Williams. Mm, yes. It seems like the surgery wasn't having too much of an impact on him. Maybe he just was tired of Miss Williams. No, well, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. If he or was, was he not able to perform yeah, yeah, otherwise? Yeah, 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 it's not even can about I, can I that. Can I explain something to you? Can I explain something to you? Quickly. Judge? Now, when I married this woman, I love this woman. I married her. You I, love I my money. What money? You didn't you have no money. Why I didn't? All right. Look, look Why this. I didn't? What money did you have? Where did I live and where did you live? You, were you lived in, in the upper part of town you, and he lived in the no, south no, part no, of town. No, no, Big no, deal. No, I no, don't no, care. No, no, what else is going on? I understand. The two of you woman. are through. She is telling the woman all this stuff and... and, and and make me Mr. Look Williams, like, you don't have when, to talk when, to when, her. When I, when I loved you, woman, and I tried to treat you You don't you know right. what love I is. Gave you, you gave me what? I mean, heartache? Did I work, did I work heartache, for? my I money, aggravation, and, because and lies? I, because Joe, I treat somebody you right. You a liar. Because I want to treat somebody right. You a you liar. Don't I need both of you to close your mouth. You need to talk to the judge. I need both of you to close your mouth and focus on me. Gracious. Woo. Now, don't sit up here yelling about neither of you gave anybody anything because what it says is but that you lived together for two years and six months and you weren't getting anything out of it and nobody was giving anything to the other and I won't believe that for one second. Now you're mad. You don't need to go through throwing stones at each other. Just be no, quiet I'm, and listen I'm, to I'm, me. I'm, I'm bad, Close your mouth, Mr. Williams. You too, Mrs. Williams. There's no need for you in anger. And now that the marriage has failed, to sit here and start throwing stones at each other and claim neither did anything for the other. That's what people do when they're mad. I don't want to hear it, and I don't believe it. So don't tell me that, because you wouldn't stay with him for two years and six months if he was doing nothing for you, and you wouldn't stay with her for two years, six months if she was doing nothing for you. So you, obviously, at some point, there was something going on that was okay between the two of you. Now the love is gone, and we're not going there. All right. Now, what about the bills you're telling me about? I just want only thing I'm here for to get satisfied is this beneficial loan that he refuses to pay, which was his loan. We signed. I signed a second agreement with him to get the loan done, and he keeps writing me bounce checks. How much is the loan? Right now, the balance, the balance is four thousand four hundred and ninety-four dollars and sixty-one cents. Four thousand four hundred ninety-four dollars. Let me see. And I want it paid. <laughs> I don't, I don't want nothing else. Here, give them all to him. I want it paid. Because he don't, he keeps writing checks. They keep bouncing. These people are harassing me. I'm, and they, he keeps hiding from them. And what did you buy, borrow the money for? 
to because he was back on the first loan. He hadn't been paying the bill. Okay, but you didn't have to extend it to more. Well, you can't tell him nothing. He doesn't listen. No, oh, you the one that wanted So to when do you it. got don't, more don't money, what'd you no do more. with that? What'd he do with the rest of the money? What what money? You don't know. What did I do with I didn't get any money. Okay. Well, I tell you what, you you have an obligation here. I don't know who I, got I, the I, money, I, I but you got a four thousand dollar obligation here. And I've been paying it and paying it and I just oh, can't. You, keep. Like you, were paying it by yourself. you haven't been paying When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. And an update on the case of Maggie Gilberto versus Edward Gilberto. What would he say that made you say that he's a racist? Um, in the N-word all the time. I guess you you really having a problem standing up here before me, huh? Divorce court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Corinne Williams, who's divorcing her husband Charles after she discovered he'd been living a double life for nearly two years. I know that. I understand that. But it's, it's just my honest feeling that I shouldn't, shouldn't be responsible for it. Okay. I'll, I'll accept your honest feeling that you shouldn't be responsible for it. But it's my honest feeling that you should be responsible for it. Based upon the law and the fact that this loan is in both of your names, and all it says is a money loan. I don't know what you did with it. It doesn't say that there's security for the loan or you, did, you purchased any items with it. Now, while you were so concerned about Miss whoever she is and her children and helping them out, you neglected your obligation based upon a loan that you had incurred while you were married. You can't go help somebody else out first and, and, and neglect that. That doesn't make you a great person, you know. I mean, it's okay to give to others, but you don't give at the expense of someone else. But the balance of the loan is $4,494. Each of you is responsible for half of that because it's a community obligation. She's already paid $1,530 on it at $85 per month for the last 18 months. So you should have been paying part of that, Mr. Williams. You're responsible for half of that. So the total is you're ordered to reimburse, well, you're ordered to reimburse Ms. Williams $765, and you're ordered to pay one half of the remaining balance owed on this obligation. I don't care how you make the payments, directly to the creditor or give the money to Ms. Williams. Since you're claiming that she doesn't pay the debts when you give her the money, I would suggest that you pay the money directly to the creditor. But that's the order of the court, and court's adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Maggie Gilberto versus Edward Gilberto. I got to hear that he don't want his son raised around my half-breed. Half-breed? Did you ever hear the phrase that no one knows how ignorant you are until you open your mouth and then everybody knows you're a fool? If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Maggie Gilberto said she knew her marriage to Edward was over after she found out he was a racist. What would he say that made you say that he's a racist? Um, in the N-word all the time. I guess you you really having a problem standing up here before me, huh? We lived in the ghetto, basically. So did you think you were better than those people? Yeah, I did. And I got to hear that he don't want his son raised around my half-breed. Half-breed? Ha half-breed. My other son with him is a half-breed. So that's what's really bothering you, the fact that now she has another child that has to mix with your pure blood white child. I don't like the fact that he's being raised in an all-black right, neighborhood. Did you ever hear the phrase that no one knows how ignorant you are until you open your mouth and then everybody knows you're a fool? Maggie told the judge Edward refused to support their son, and the judge ordered him to pay. Edward and Maggie attended mediation after court and worked out a parenting plan for their son. Edward spent the Halloween weekend with his son and took him shopping for clothes. Edward is now engaged and has introduced his fiance to Maggie. I feel good about the verdict. She was fair, she was honest, but it's a lot of things I didn't get a chance to say in there. To me, it's not right. I should have picked something that I don't have. Like about how this marriage became about and the money that was lost and things he stole. My money, my time, my heart, a lot of things. It was a lot. 